but Christ being come a high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by, now listen carefully, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of a heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctifies to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Hebrews 10 verse 4, for it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Wherefore, when he comes into the world, he saith, now listen carefully, sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not. You hear that? He's not looking for sacrifices and offering. Okay? What's he saying? He's not looking for you to feel bad about the things you've done and try to make up for it by doing something. That's not what he's looking for. Look what he says. But a body hast thou prepared me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, lo, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me, I come to do thy will, O God. You hear that? He wasn't looking at the past going, oh, look at this. No, no, he said, I've come to do your will. See, that is how we're supposed to live. He said, above when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and offering for sin thou wouldest not, neither hadst pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then said he, Lo, I come to do your will, O God. He takes away the first that he may establish the second. I know this is a lot of King James, but I just want you to realize all he's saying is that the old covenant couldn't do what was necessary. The new covenant in Jesus' blood did it, he changed things. Now, the problem is we don't have examples of people that are walking in the fullness of this. That's been the problem. And we generally don't rise above the level of our examples. That's why he says looking unto Jesus. He's to be our example. Looking at what he did. And now get this, not even in just what he did in his flesh, but also now he has been given a better ministry. Do you get that? of what he is now. Why? Because we are to look at him in the spirit. We don't even know Jesus after the flesh. So you can't even actually look in in the gospels at how he lived there. What he did there was great, but guess what? He wasn't glorified at that point. Amen? Amen? And so now he's been glorified and it's as he is, so are we now in this world. Do you get that? So you have to see who he was, what he did. That shows us his nature, his character, and that's to give us our nature and character so that you ought to, listen, there is not a person in the world that doesn't know that God's nature is good. You know why? Because he was the light of all men that came into the world. That is in every man's heart. No person has an excuse. That is in there. Now, you may have been taught out of it. You may have been taught God is bad and he's looking for a a reason to smack you down somehow. You may have been taught that you get sick so that he can teach you something. Those are things you, but inside, when you shut out all of those other voices, you know deep down. You know how I know you know that? Because whenever everything comes down to it, listen, you know what you do? God, help me. When you cry out to him to help, see, if you really believe that he was looking for bad things to do to you, you wouldn't cry out for help. That's why my wife was talking to our grandkids this weekend and was saying, you know, it's it's pretty amazing that everywhere in movies or anything else, she wasn't bringing up movies or anything, but it is in movies, but you always hear these people, anything going on, first thing they say is, well, Jesus Christ. It's like, they don't say, well, Buddha. Well, Muhammad, I just, I think, why? Because it's in the heart of all people to know that he is the way. He is the truth. Amen? And it's that nature, their fallen nature, that they want to somehow condemn him or use his name in vain. 